Seems like it's been a year exactly uh, since uh, I was with the group uh, my first year, and it looks like a, b a much bigger group than it was last January. But uh, and uh, we're glad that you're here today. Um, Vice President King asked me if I wanted to make any remarks at today's uh, in-service training session, and uh, I said, "Well, sure, I'll be glad to." And uh, matter of fact, he asked if I if I, if if I knew that I was supposed to make remarks. At the, at the service in service training session today, and I spent my Christmas vacation uh, preparing this because I was getting bored at the house with nothing to do. Matter of fact, Chris, by the time Christmas vacation was ending, I had become so bored, as I mentioned in the email, that I had begun cleaning the house, dusting, vacuuming. And you have to understand, when I vacuum and clean and dust the house, I move furniture and, and a lot of different things. So you know, when I do it, I do it thoroughly, like I try to do in a lot of other things. But uh, I'm glad to uh, be here today again with you. Uh, had, we had a great year last year, and I'm looking forward to another great year in the future. Um, when Pres uh, Vice President King asked me to make some comments, uh, I thought about, well, you know, the president has a State of the Union address, and the governor will have a State of the State address. And so I thought, well, what, we, what can I call you know, my presentation to the college? And I thought, well, we'll just call it the State of the College Address. And so that's what we're going to uh, do this morning. We're going to try to make it a little uh, interactive and a little fun. Uh, maybe something that you normally don't get to have in an you know, in-service presentation. But we're going to try to make it a little fun for you. And uh, so we'll start it out this morning. <laughs> Okay, all right, there we go. State of the College. By the way, can anybody name the theme of this song? Cully? All right, Cully. Battlestar Galactica. We've had a year of beginnings. Last year's been a year of beginning, and we've had a year of first. There's been a lot of things that have happened for the first time this last year. We've had a year of growth. Uh, a lot of things have grown. We've had a, seen highs in a lot of areas. We've had a year of change. There's been some changes, um, and we'll talk about those during the course of the presentation. And then there's been a year of achievement. There's been a lot of achievement uh, by faculty, by staff, by our students. And we're going to recognize some of the achievements that were made uh, this last year. Um, as I mentioned last year at our in-service, there's value at the Valley. And a lot of that value uh, comes from the faculty and to appreciate it. But uh, a year of beginnings. Who sings this song? Chicago. You only get to win once, okay? Raise your hand so I can see you. I know a lot of people knew that one. Year of beginnings. Uh, this year we uh, began the uh, intensive summer program, and uh, we had a lot of success in that with uh, Dr. McMillan and the staff that did that, and uh, we're looking forward to that continuing to help those students who are having some academic difficulties come in in the summertime and uh, have that uh, abbreviated course to get them the courses that they need to have to further their uh, academic pursuits. The early college high school program. Let's keep this up there on the, on the screen. There we go. They don't need to see me. They can just listen. Uh, the early college high school program. Uh, this is a program that also uh, we started and a uh, very successful program with the Athens uh, Independent School District. And we're looking forward to maybe expanding that in the future, but something that we began this year um, and uh, uh, Hopefully we can get a grant or something for this next year, but, uh, uh, but the Murchison Foundation was very uh, helpful in that. We appreciate the, their contributions in helping our high school students uh, get an early start to uh, high school. The Texas a and Commerce Program. There's not been a lot of, I think, enrollment necessarily yet in this program that we've seen. Now, they may be enrolling in the, uh, in the classes here at TVCC, but I know a lot of people have asked me about the Texas a and Commerce Program. And of course, this is the program that we've partnered with Texas a and Commerce to 
begin offering bachelor's degree programs. I know of some people who have already uh, be, have begun uh, uh, enrolling in the program and have been admitted to it. And uh, we anticipate that this will take off and be successful in the future. Our lecture capture technology, we began that this fall. And uh, I think uh, uh, Dr. Self has started that. And we hope that uh, some others can take advantage of this type of new technology that can um, be beneficial to our students. Um, I noticed that your uh, faculty retreats about a, a changing teaching and things like that. And teaching methods are always changing. I was noticing read right the other day about uh, a college that's offering, I, I guess, a, a class or something. I don't know if it's a class, but training for the students to learn how to use their iPods to download um, uh, sessions and things like that so that they can use their iPod, iPods to help them uh, in the classroom and so to help them study. So technology is changing and we need to keep up with it. And so if you uh, think this is something you're interested in, then uh, we can contact Mike Abbott in the uh, tech center and they can help you out. But uh, lecture capture technology, we begin that this year. And then uh, we had a bunch of new faculty and staff. I think there were over 25 or so. If you're, if you're new, uh, new this past year, could you stand up? New, new to this college, faculty or staff. So we had a, we had a lot of uh, new faculty and staff this year, and, and uh, some were new positions, and some we've uh, created uh, or were replacements, but uh, a lot of new faculty and staff. This might test you. Not the eagles. Pardon? Little Texas. Yeah. Little Texas. First time for everything. And uh, we did have a few. It's been a year of first. We had uh, some first things happen. We had our first news media class. Now, we're still looking forward to having them stream. Not stream, but having their presentations on the, uh, the Internet. We can go out there and look and... and uh, Kelly promises me and Mike Abbott promises me that we're going to get something on there this, this spring. We can go out there and actually see like the, what the theater's done or Will, what the band's doing or, or uh, Dr. McGillivray, what the choir's doing, you know, or what's going on in the classroom. So we're going to be able to go out there and see, click on, you know, the little website and it'll pop up. So here's what's happening at TVCC this week. And we want the, uh, the students and their parents to be able to see what's going on here. And uh, we think that'll be a great uh, addition to the, uh, the website. Uh, the first streaming of graduation occurred in, well, we kind of had a test in May, but the, really the first one was in August, and it was uh, viewed uh, worldwide. We even have viewers in, I think it was Peru. I learned uh, a little bit of Spanish to welcome them, uh, those viewers, but uh, we're going to do some more uh, streaming, and we're even streaming this today. Uh, Dr. Uh, Drumgool asked the other day if, if he was wanting to be here, but he couldn't. He was down in Houston, and remember him taking some treatments, and he said, I sure wish I could watch that, and he said, is there any way we could stream that? And I said, well, I'll ask Mike Abbott, and Mike and his staff were able to uh, put this together on a short notice, and appreciate them doing that so much. But uh, we'll be doing more streaming. As a matter of fact, we're going to be just streaming some basketball games. So for those of you who have not been coming, shame on you, first of all, <laughs> uh, missed some great games here lately, uh, but uh, if, if you can catch a couple of them on the Internet. Uh, first Hall of Fame class, uh, Michael uh, Landers uh, and, and the group that uh, were on that committee did a great job of uh, in inducting our first Hall of Fame class, mostly athletic. I want to expand that to include uh, just any, any uh, type of uh, uh, group, but uh, uh, member, uh, faculty, staff, or anything. But uh, first Hall of Fame class was introduced this year. Our first softball game occurred, and uh, we... Uh, is Coach Johnston in here? She had early practice this morning, and uh, so uh, and she's even <coughs> she even convinced me to come out and hit infield practice tonight. So I was I was kind of over the over the holidays when I was so bored I'd go out to the softball field and so that I wouldn't hurt so much after I did that tonight. <laughs> first time I uh, first time I always hit practice uh, when when I was my kids were in little league. First year I was always having problems. Uh, we got some technical difficulties. 
All right. With the internet. Okay. And then uh, we had the first pitch. And uh, there is... Uh, now you notice this, this is kind of blurry here because I was going so fast. <laughs> All right? And uh, uh, fortunately, Rip is okay. He was on the receiving end of this pitch, and uh, he was fine. Why don't you notice the, uh, the fine physique uh, here? Uh, uh, the attire is not too good, but, uh, you know, and the determination. I was wanting to get that strike in there, and so we got it in there. And then, uh, let's see here. Oh, we had the first homecoming and our, and our first kiss. We're a couple of misfits. We're a couple of misfits. What's the matter with misfits? That's where we fit in. We're not happy and chilly. Don't go around really near. The pig was really not we happy with Mike kissing. Silly. Mike was actually kissing right on the nose. I, I kind of took, you know, back of the yeah, head there. Anybody know where that song came from? Who decides the tag? Who said that? Okay. Rudolph the Red Nosed Ranger. A couple of misfits. We had a good time, and uh, I tell you what, we raised a lot of money for United Way. Uh, I think we went over a thousand dollars. It's the most twelve hundred dollars. That's the most we've ever raised, uh, and I'll be glad to uh, help Mike out next year. No, no, the pig was doing squirrel was loud enough. Who sings that? Who said that? Rita Coolidge. All time high. We had a, re a year of growth this year. And um, enrollment to a sky high. It was an all time high. And um, we're looking for a continued uh, increases in our enrollment. And um, uh, thanks to a lot of you. And we're, and we're doing some things to uh, continue to do that. Adding programs and, and uh, some other things. Yeah, there's an adding machine. Yeah, there's, uh, our salaries went up a little bit. Thankfully, the board, uh, we've had some money to uh, increase our salaries. And uh, we're going to try to continue to, uh, to do that. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> we, we will try to continue that, to, to do that in the future. We don't want to, we're making some inroads into where, where our peers and colleagues are at. So, uh, and our budget, whoops, our waste. Waste went up. Yeah, it was a year of growth, uh, especially over the holidays. Yeah, it was an all time high. Oh, yeah, I like my. Yeah, these are my cardinal socks, yes. Now, I, you don't see any numbers there because I did this when the weight machine was off. But yes, we were at an all time high. And I'm trying to. That's one of the reasons I'm going to hit for Ash the Nuts, kind of work some of this off. So, all time high. David Bowie, he said that. That was left-handed, Ashley. You see that? Uh, it's a year of change. We had a lot of changes this last year. And uh, the enrollment process is changing a little bit. As a matter of fact, we're even moving it out of this room. Uh, when I came last year and saw that we were actually writing numbers down of classes that uh, were canceled, I was just shocked. I was just amazed that we uh, were still doing that. And so we're changing the enrollment process where it's going to be more... Uh, online for the uh, the faculty and staff that are helping the students out and hopefully it'll speed everything up and we're going to put them in the Ball Technology Center and uh, uh, we've already had by the way if you've looked at our enrollment numbers uh, we're already up uh, seven percent over last year of an early enrollment and our online enrollment is up over 30 percent so students are really starting to take advantage of that and we want them to continue to do that in the future we're going to do some things I showed the vice president's uh, a website uh, the other day and uh, we're going to try to do some things hopefully in the future that will make it a lot more easy for the student uh, to enroll and, um, and do that process. Um, posting grades online. How many of you took advantage of posting grades online? A large percentage. Uh, David Hubbard. David Hubbard. Uh, where's David Hubbard? Is he not here? Oh, there. Did you post your grades online? Did you post your grades online, David Hubbard? I didn't think so. <laughs> uh, this is, uh, I, I, and I, from what I heard, this is a, a lot of the faculty really uh, 
thought it was a good process, and uh, we're encouraging more faculty to do this in the future. Uh, and if you need some assistance on that, uh, I'm sure the IT department can help you out. Uh, your chance, shared governance. Now, this is um, um, something that I have, uh, uh, I guess, promoted everywhere I've been. And, and uh, as we've had more input into policies, into, um, um, I guess, uh, employment situations, when we had the vice presidents, assistant vice presidents in different positions, we've had search committees come in and, and uh, do that rather than have the, the president because I wanted to get the input of, um, of the uh, faculty and staff. And I've tried to have a mix of, of staff and faculty to uh, be on those committees. And then we had uh, a committee be on the uh, uh, campus master planning priority. So shared governance, uh, probably uh, uh, something that was a, a change to the institution. Uh, the old technical building. Uh, we've got a change in it. It's now called the New General Study Center. Does anybody know who that was? Oh, well, that's all right. Hugh Jackman. Hugh Jackman. Everything old is new again. If you haven't had a chance to go over to the, uh, the General Study Center, it is really looking sharp. Matter of fact, I was, it was looking so good, I was thinking about putting, moving my office over there. Um, but um, it is really looking good over there. Well, I guess it's, uh, I, who sings that song? Uh, this is just, I think we might have this, I have this picture in the slide every presentation because this is Mike Peake's pickup. And after the, uh, I think it was after the original finals over at uh, Kil, uh, Kilgore, when the Lady Cardinals beat Blinn, uh, Mike wanted to get out there and put the letters up on the new sign and got his pickup stuck. So it's stuck in the mud, mud on the tires. But we're grateful f to Mike for that because as a result of that, we, uh, who sings that? Do this, don't do that, get your Five Man Electrical Band is right. We got a new sign because of, uh, because of Mike, and uh, <laughs> and it, uh, I think it's uh, really made it a attractive the campus more attractive. And uh, we put out we only we put out as this one as you can see here this Toys for Tots. It's not just uh, college announcements. We're putting out announcements for the community as well, and uh, so uh, uh, it's been very entertaining. I think. Uh, I drive by slowly now. Hopefully the traffic is slower down Prairieville now than it has been in the past. But uh, uh, the new sign, appreciate that, Mike. And Mike appreciates it too. He's been in there just playing his new toys. And, and there's Big Red. He likes it. Anything that you want, you can achieve it. He said what? Not Marvin Gaye. No. No. Probably somebody you never heard of. I'll give you time to think about it. It's been a year of achievement. We've had uh, Mark Robinson, who was named our state advisor. And uh, congratulations, Mark. He does a great job with the, uh, with the Ag Department and the uh, show team out there. Matter of fact, the Beef Cattle Show team won the best herdsman again. And there's a picture. <laughs> Mark, I think one of your <laughs> short legs out again. <laughs> uh, but Mark does a great job with, uh, with the cattle out there. And uh, the Iowa Alpha Leadership, they won the Leadership Harmark Award. And uh, Maylie Burkhalter won the uh, Jack Kent Cook Award. Uh, Maylie was a student that graduated this uh, past year. And Nancy Long, uh, who does a fantastic job with our uh, Phi Theta Kappa chapter, who was named Faculty Scholar. Another achievement. Charlotte Rank won an award for uh, her poetry in the Edmund, Edwin M. Eakin Award. Janet Cotton, uh, the Cardinal Cousins. Is Janet here this morning? I didn't. Okay. Where's Janet? Hi, Janet. She won the Cardinal Cares Award. Uh, that's something that, they, uh, that we'll be giving out on an annual basis. And then David Loper won the uh, Mountain Plains Business Association Administrative Supervisor. That's a mouthful. 
And then there's, uh, there's David there with that award. And I know there's been a lot of other achievements this past year, but I just wanted to recognize a few. And, and uh, we uh, uh, certainly, because of the fine faculty and staff we have, there's a reason we have so many achievements at our college. Uh, not only just our faculty and staff, but our students as well. Fleetwood Mac. Don't we, Romo? For those who uh, did not see that on the internet, that was a perfect pass <laughs> to Scott back there from all the way here to the front. So that was, we're looking forward now. Don't stop thinking about tomorrow. Looking forward, Fleetwood Mac. And uh, there we go. Master plan. Uh, master plan. We have uh, had issued an RFP to uh, different firms to interested in uh, performing our master plan. That will be presented at the, uh, we're going to take the top three. There's a committee, shared governance again. The committee is going to be looking at those firms and companies and uh, top three will be making a presentation to the board in February and we will select one of those firms at that February meeting and uh, we're going to keep the ball rolling on our master plan a lot of things we need to do and I think the, the timing is pretty good um, one of the things that we did last year we made a lot of changes organizationally uh, created some vice presidential positions uh, moved some things around but uh, one of the things I wanted to do uh, I've thought about it over a year and we're finally I think to this place where we're going to have a vice president for information technology and there's a committee uh, that's in that process of, of going through applications and interviews and we'll be doing that merging the uh, the kind of the the, uh, the software side and the hardware side to have one huge uh, or not so huge but one uh, information technology department. Uh, for any accession this is something I'm really looking forward to. Uh, Back uh, well, last summer, uh, some citizens from Forney, Forney asked uh, if uh, um, what were the possibilities of being annexed into the uh, taxpaying district of the college. And so we've been working with them. They got a petition together, presented it to the board, and the uh, board accepted it, set a, a vote for May, I think it's May the 9th. Uh, it's, it's in May, and um, we'll be over having a hearing in Forney in February and to discuss with them the, uh, the uh, advantages of them coming into the annexation process. But uh, we're really looking forward to that. Very optimistic, uh, the people we've been working with over there. Uh, Keith Bell has been very instrumental over there, but uh, very optimistic about the, uh, the possibility of Forney being annexed into our district. Uh, emergency notification system. Uh, David Hubbard and uh, some of the staff members have been working on an emergency notification system for the campuses. And um, this is, in, you know, if we have weather or other situations, uh, we want to be able to uh, notify students, faculty, and staff of that situation uh, on a pretty quickly basis. Uh, web developer, uh, Miles, is Miles here? Miles, stand up. Miles started last Monday. And uh, he's our web developer. He's going to make some. Yeah, we've been needing one. Um, but uh, we're going to have some changes on our web page. And uh, matter of fact, uh, we're going to get uh, online admissions going, what, the end of this week? Is that what you said, Mike? Okay. And so our students, you know, we've been able to enroll, but we haven't been able to ad be admitted online. And so we're going to get that process started. And uh, it's just a lot of things, a lot of uh, uh, projects for miles to do and we're going to try to coordinate with some of the web pages that have been uh, inactive for a while uh, try to get them going and try to get some commonality consistency within the web pages I'll tell you what who does a great job on their web page if you go out and look at the the rodeo team and the ag team uh, they do a pretty good job out there on there so uh, but anyway we're going to we appreciate miles coming and working for us and uh, looking forward to uh, what he has in store uh, Palestine remodeling uh, we've been doing some work down there that's been, been needing to have been done. Uh, the, basically, they've been having their maintenance and storage of chemicals. I don't know all the chemicals, but it's been right there in the main building. And 
uh, Provost Aitken had, had asked if we could create and build another uh, maintenance facility and move all that equipment and, and stuff out of there. We're going to do that and then hopefully uh, we we'll go in there and, and uh, create a uh, chemistry or biology lab uh, in the Palestine. So we're looking forward to that. Uh, employee assistance program. This is something uh, we've got a, a new HR director uh, uh, started this year, Jennifer Robinson and uh, Robertson, and uh, she's got several ideas. One of them is employee assistance program. So if there's things that you need assistance with, uh, counseling or whatever, uh, we're going to try to get that started this year. Uh, a tuition reimbursement plan. Let me talk a little bit about this. This is something uh, we hope that you will uh, uh, take advantage of. Matter of fact, we're going to ask for your input this morning. I want you to attend the, uh, the uh, next few sessions, uh, the breakout sessions. We have a survey. If you're interested in uh, uh, the tuition reimbursement plan, we want your input on this, uh, how many hours you're taking, and, and uh, things like that. And so help us to get an idea how much this will, will cost the college, but something I think that uh, is needed. Um, I'm not sure exactly how we're going to do it yet, whether we're going to reimburse you based on whether you make a, a, B, or C, or you know exactly what yet. Uh, I've seen plans like that, but we we're going to get your input as well, and uh, we'll probably ask the college council their ideas on this. So if you have any thoughts about that, um, uh, please let us know. And then uh, we're going to work on reclassification. This is basically for the, the staff, and uh, we, right now we have three classifications. And we really need to broaden it out because um, we have um, uh, custodians and secretaries and IT techs or whatever. They're just kind of all in the same area. And, and it really needs to be broken out by type of, of uh, work done. And so we're going to be looking at reclassification this year. Huh? You might know that one? No. Just getting started. I have one t shirt left. Nope. Anyway, we're just getting started. I'll save this for some other time. That was Lover Boy. <laughs> that wasn't anything with the artist, I just liked the song. Right. But uh, we're just getting started. We're looking for a great year, and uh, I know with your. Uh, uh, with your talents and abilities and your dedication and commitment, we are going to have a great year this year. And lo really looking forward to uh, the things. I'm looking forward to, especially the master campus master planning and, and just everything. And appreciate your um, support and uh, your commitment, again, to the students. And that's why there's such a, a value at the college. So with that, that's the end of the uh, State of the uh, College presentation. And I think now the next item.